All right, we are live with another Quick Tip Tuesday, each and every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, and this week's topic, I've been receiving a lot of messages, a lot of uh, new clients and a lot of new people trying to get a mortgage. And this week's topic is mortgage broker. Uh, what is a mortgage broker? So a mortgage broker is basically a middle person. Basically, uh, if you're trying to shop around and you don't want to do the shopping around yourself, a mortgage broker comes in place and shop different banks around. So you're typically, that mortgage broker is not lending you their money per se. It's not a bank per se. They're basically going to bank A, B, C with your actual information and trying to get different rates and different um uh, terms for you. So there's a positive and a negative to that. So number one, mortgage broker doesn't really have control or have, doesn't really have a say on what's going on. So if you have any questions to the broker, they have to go around and go to bank A. If you select bank A and basically wait until they get that information, they have to go to the point of contact of bank A then bank A con point of contact will have to go in either to underwriting or the processing team or whichever part of your uh, milestone your loan is in. And then they will go back and you see how many steps that actually go. So that can delay your transaction depending on which bank is selected. Uh, it can, yeah, it can possibly cause you to lose a deal because of the delay in the transaction because there's a lot of more people touching the actual loan and if one person is delayed it can delay the entire transaction so let's say your broker takes some time to push the deal through or the point of contact at the bank takes some time to push it through it, it can delay your transaction so that's one not so good thing about being a actual to go through a broker. Uh, another one is the broker won't be able to provide realistic turnaround time because they don't work for that bank that they selected. So they don't know how long it's going to take to go from point A to point B because they're not in the bank. They can give you a guesstimate. Uh, but it won't be a correct answer. They can ask requests for the point of contact to give you that turnaround time, but it may not be correct. So it can be a little frustrating as you go through that process because you don't really have a grasp of the situation. And that can be very frustrating and stressful because this is going to be the biggest purchase of your life. You want to have, not say have control, but you want to know what's going on in the situation. You don't want to be in limbo. And uh, a lot of people's emotions get into place when you're in limbo because you don't know what's going on. You don't know the exact turnaround times. You're waiting for he said, she said, uh, and it, it can get very frustrating. So just be careful with that. Uh, another quick item on a uh, broker. Uh, the broker, the broker is very dependent on the actual bank itself. So they can't really do anything unless the bank they select does anything on their part because they aren't able to actually push the loan, process the loan, do anything on the underwriting phase or order the appraisal. They have uh, no control of the deal um, and it's tough. Um, so it, there, can, there can be some positive things on the broker end, but let me touch some other stuff. Uh, the broker is a middle person from you and the bank, so just keep that in mind. You're not working directly with the bank. The broker does not lend the money. They find the money for you. The broker, so the positive thing can be is if you don't want to shop around for different banks, the broker will get will do that for you, but keep in mind the broker has to get paid. So at the end of the day, you probably won't be getting the best rate. Would you recommend using a mortgage broker? So personally, no, 
because uh, I'm a loan officer. I work for a bank specifically, directly for the bank. So I can give you exact turnaround times because I can have the direct conversation with my underwriting team. Um, there's no middle person, so there's no, uh, no other person that needs to get paid, so you'll get the best rate possible, so there's no extra fees or anything associated with that. Um, you, you get me, I'll fight for your loan, I'll keep fighting for your loan. If there's any issues, I'll guide you the best way I can to get you to the closing table. And when, when it comes to a broker, uh, it's tough to have that conversation with the broker because they don't work at the bank. So it's tough to really, really, really fight for your loan and get your loan to the closing table. Can a broker give me better rates? Not necessarily because remember, the broker has to get paid. The broker is doing a service for you and that broker gets paid. So it could be either you paying high, higher closing costs so you have the broker get paid for his services or you're getting a little slyer, slightly higher rate because of those services that that broker is actually providing. So keep that in mind. You're paying for some type of service. The broker is not doing it for free. No one works for free. So at the end of the day, you're paying either on, on the front end or the, the back end. Are mortgage brokers faster to close on a deal? Not really. I would say no, not at all, because they have no control. Um, they're the middle person. They can go directly to the underwriter and ask how many files ahead of you to see what's the exact turnaround time. They're, they're the middle person, so they would have to wait. They usually is a few people, middle people in the way. So the mortgage broker goes to the contact person in the bank and then that that person of contact in that bank that you selected usually reaches out to the underwriting team and other people. So there's a lot of people in the way and that turnaround time can take some time. Looking to be a first time home owner in New Jersey. Perfect timing. The rates are amazing. Don't get discouraged with the market. You can still find a deal. Just keep pushing, keep pushing. Work the right team, number one. Uh, make sure you have, make sure you're pre-approved. If you're not in Jersey, I'm more than happy to assist. We can have a conversation outside. Uh, multifamily, if you're looking for a multifamily, that's amazing as well. Single family is good. Uh, this Rates are great, so take advantage of the rates now that they're good. They're still all time low. If you have any question of first time home ownership, just let me know. I can definitely either answer it now or have it for our next week quick tip Tuesday. I'll probably take on one more question before I wrap it up. Just wanna make sure I answered all these questions. Mortgage brokers fast to close, typically no, better rates, yes. Perfect, perfect, great questions. Keep it coming, keep it coming. If uh, I'll take one more question before I wrap it up. Once again, we're discussing mortgage brokers. What is a mortgage broker? And the good and the bad when it comes to mortgage brokers. Perfect, yeah, more than happy to assist. All right, perfect. I don't see any more questions. Just to wrap it up, just keep in mind if you have any topics you want me to discuss for next week, Quick Tip Tuesday, shoot me a message. Uh, if you want to learn more about real estate, follow me on John Does Real Estate on Instagram here, as well as my YouTube channel. Link is in my bio. Uh, also, I have a newsletter, which is link is in my bio. I give out random facts and news within the market, what's going on, uh, good tips for the house. If you sign up, uh, there's a newsletter that goes out once a month. Thank you for joining, and I hope everyone has a great rest of your night.